Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. As always, you can subscribe here or go on my other social media for more of this content. I stumbled on a very interesting Reddit topic about romanticized jobs and I figured given I've been on an arcane binge, the League of Legends animation series of course, that I can give some of my input when it comes to the idea of the artist side. When we see productions like Arcane being made, if you're on the outside, largely your experience with that would be watching documentaries of how they made the animation or the movie, and those tend to be heavily edited. Now, in reality, if you've ever worked in studio environments or even just freelancing as well, being an artist and or animator is not really that clean as a lot of these documentaries try to make them as. I would say being an artist, a professional artist, is one of the most romanticized jobs ever because I'm sure if you've ever talked to the average person who might not be aware, they would think that being an artist is just to draw and paint all day, you're just having fun all the time, and maybe they'll give you a few dirty glares here and there, and jealousy, but the reality is a job is still a job. So if you've worked in studio environments, you'll know that there's a lot of hectic deadlines and unless you are at the top of the food chain you're not going to get a lot of creative input a lot of people think that you can just walk into a studio and do whatever the heck you want but ultimately you are going to be guided by the direction of everyone else above you and you're just executing the ideas of, of what's happening i liken it to sort of like being a carpenter where yeah, you have the skills to make any toy you want with wood or whatever, but ultimately carpenters are going to be forced to build frames for houses and things that are more practical. And there's really not much say in that. Now, I'm the type of person who works freelance, obviously, so I'll give you my input as well. Now, a lot of people think that freelance life is this perfect world as well, and while I will, pref I will say I prefer that to a studio job, it's still not as advertised. Most people over romanticize the idea of working at home. And while a lot of people who were used to working in the office, for example, would think that's amazing, it comes with a lot of hosts of problems. For instance, it's easy to develop cabin fever just trying to create more work for yourself because it's very easy to be guilty when you are working from home. You want to just keep working and working and breaks and just work are kind of melded together over a long period of time. It's also less security. So if you've ever dealt with freelance, you'll know that the next gig might not come for a while and sometimes you might have a lot of gigs in one particular month or period of time and you're just dealing with a ton of deadlines over and over again. So the stress levels can go from zero to 100 very quickly. And like with any professional gigs as well, the creative input that you have is mostly going to be nullified. You're most likely going to be doing stuff for a client which means that your instructions are very particular and specific. I find that with freelance you do have a little bit of say in it because if clients are coming to you then they expect you to have your style and offer them your style. But either way you'll be drawing stuff that you really sometimes don't want to draw and of course you can decline if it's really crude, like if you're drawing something that you're really against it, from a moral standpoint. But in general, 
you might find yourself in a situation where you're making changes or you're adding things to your work that you might not agree with but your client insists on so you're going to have to take that and swallow your pride and of course i want to make one more major point when it comes to being an artist and that's most likely if you're doing illustration or fine artist type of thing your work is your own you won't have co-workers in per se so if you're the type to be very social or need to have co-workers around to bounce ideas and stuff you might not want to go into this field because if you're looking to be a freelancer you're just going to be alone a lot of the time and even when you're in a studio environment while you might have co-workers to bounce off of during meetings and all that ultimately you're going to be staring at a Wacom Cintiq for most of the day and you're just going to be drawing non-stop and that's really something that a lot of people can't handle because a lot of people want to be social and they think when they look at TV shows of how they portray artists that they they're these eccentric social people but in reality I think everybody listening to this will echo me is we're most likely going to be secluded in a little corner drawing all day so it's not something that most artists get to experience when it comes to social parties and such it's going to be something that will just happen here and there but nothing that's frequent 99% of your time will just be in isolation so anyways hopefully you enjoyed my answer here as well as the painting process that I have right now if you want to just keep continuing watching feel free as you can tell I can I really resonated with Arcane and I started to do quite a lot of fan art of it over the past few weeks so hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time